channel so for this week's video I'm gonna show you how I made a mug rack holder mug holder that goes on the wall I'll have a better title at the top of this video obviously than I can produce right now but yeah a little backstory uh, this project was kind of a spur-of-the-moment project I have two projects that I'm working on that are bigger projects right now but the weather is not letting me finish them because I need to paint them outside and it's either too cold or it's too wet. And long story short, I started this project way later than I needed to. So <laughs> it was kind of a mad dash to the end. Overall, this project, I just used wood that I already had. I didn't purchase any wood. The only things that I purchased were the hooks that the mugs go on and the chalkboard paint that I used on the top. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me show you how I did it. So starting off, I just cut my pieces of wood. Then for the top piece, I used a one by six and it was from a scrap wood pile. So it had some unsmooth edges. So I just decided to fill those in and then I sanded down all of the boards just to remove any splinter factor. Then I just marked out where I wanted to place the boards on the back support. I'll leave the measurements for everything down in the description box below. Then I attached the boards together with one and a quarter inch wood screws. the back support beam. This is how I'm going to attach it to the wall. So I attached four screws to make it super secure. Then I just stained the whole piece with my special walnut stain from Minwax. And yes, I'm using a plastic bag on my hand because I ran out of gloves. After the stain dried for a day, I sealed it with polyurethane. After that dried, I painted the top piece with rust chalkboard paint. Now while the chalkboard paint was drying and in between coats, I measured out where I wanted to place the cup holder hooks. They're just coat hooks that I got from Home Depot. And this was perhaps the hardest part of the whole project was just measuring out and evenly spacing the hooks on the board. It seems like it would be easy to do, but for me, I don't understand why it was so difficult, but it took a long time to figure out exactly where I wanted to place them. I don't have a video clip of this because you really wouldn't have been able to see it because I was just moving it, the hooks around the board constantly and it just looks like I'm cra going crazy, which I was. Here in the next clip, you can just see me attaching them with the screws that came with the kit. Then I applied a second coat of the chalkboard paint. Now, as you know, it has been a good long while since I have indulged you with a tape peeling composition.
You're welcome. Anyway, this is what it looks like all finished and with the cups on the rack. enjoyed it I hope that you are inspired to make mug wrecks of your own um, honestly I was a little bit hesitant to put all of my Ray Dunn mugs on there just because they're so hard to come by and yeah I will say that I got all of these mugs ethically and without fighting anyone for them um, I've just been going at random times and I think that they are putting out the Ray Dunn sporadically instead of all at once now so poor people like us get a chance to have them now which I really appreciate. As you can see, my collection is growing and I needed a place to put them all, so. But yeah, I hope this project inspires you to take on a DIY project of your own. Don't think that you can't do anything. You can do pretty much anything that you want to. Skill is a learned thing, so you can totally accomplish whatever you set your mind to. It might take a little bit of time the first time, but you can accomplish it. I hope you all have amazing weeks and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! Oh, 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 oh,